fought true defeat in open battle. Watching over the two generals is Tunan, the Adjudicator, Archon of Justice, eldest of Kairos's minions. Tunan brings Kairos's laws to newly conquered lands. Aided by the Fate Binders, judges and executioners of the Overlord's laws. You were among the youngest of the court of Fate Binders when Kairos's armies came to our lands. How could we have known that the fate of thousands would rest in your hands? Moving cautiously. All the world has fallen to Kairos, and now the Overlord's eye is on the Tears, our home. The last corner of the world free of Kairos's reign. Two armies, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus, march south from the Northern Empire, the last realm to fall to Kairos a century prior. In the early days of 428, Kairos' armies arrive at the Gates of Judgment, the mountainous border that we Tearsmen so long believed unassailable. Unable to agree on a unified plan of defense, the various leaders of the Tears sit and wait for each other to deal with the conquerors. Until it's too late.
The year is 431, and Kairos' invasion has shattered all major opposition in the tiers. The Younger Realms, the Bastard Tier, the Free Cities. All who defied Kairos lay broken by battle, or bowed in surrender. The two armies of the Overlord, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus, now control our lands. But our will is not yet extinguished. Not entirely. In the Valley of Vendrian's Well, those of us unwilling to bow to Kairos have banded together in defiance. Violating an oath of surrender from two years prior, we have staged a bloody uprising, murdering the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus garrison in a midnight assault. With their main forces spread across the tiers, the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus redeploy to Vendrian's Well to crush the resistance, but months pass with no definitive battle. As disagreement and discord paralyze the Archons, we bide our time and wait for our message of insurrection to spread across the tiers. The Overlord is not amused, and Kairos has one message for the Archons. Crush the Oathbreakers, or die. Kairos backs this threat with an edict, a magical commandment that can slay all in the valley should the order be ignored. The honor of proclaiming this edict fell to you. Sent across the mountains to Vendrian's Well, you carry the Overlord's edict to read before the Archons. As you finally make your way through the winding mountain passes into the valley, the ground trembles, and Kairos's magic seals the way behind you. You are trapped in Vendrian's Well, with Kairos's armies and the Oathbreakers. The only way to survive is to fulfill the terms of the Overlord's Edict, in any way that you can. On it. me worm <sighs> fate binder here here at last here to 
Come at me, brave meat. Let's see what falls out of you. I can tell you didn't spend the conquest in a diplomat's tent. I'm verse, by the way. But there are more important things to take care of than introductions. Those Vendrian guard we killed didn't come alone. Eager. <laughs> I like that. Before we go, you might search among the remains of our fallen comrades. Wherever they're bound, I doubt they'll miss their boots, much less any rings or any useful iron they might be clutching. No reason to pity the fallen. Before long, we might wish we'd joined him here. But at least for the voices of Narat! Right. Come out. <laughs> 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 